We're playing Town Remastered on Black Ops 3 with Call of Duty Ghost Weapons. Now, I'm kind of intrigued to see what this is going to be like. I haven't done a weapon pack mod in a while, and oh my god, the pistol is just one-shotting the zombies already. Okay, so I guess we'll go for a knife. Oh, never mind. You can't, can you? <laughs> That's how long it's been since I last played this. Honestly, I quite like the Ghost's guns. It's, it's ridiculous to think it's been a decade since Call of Duty Ghosts came out. Like, what the fuck, dude? Using this reminds me of playing Extinction, though, because obviously you start out with the pistols, you have to kind of, like, level them up and stuff. I might give Extinction a try at some point, but I suppose we'll see. I had a nightmare trying to get some of these weapon pack mods working because I was trying to run Black Ops 2 weapons on Call of the Dead and it was just crashing every single time. I think it might just be that map just doesn't allow weapon pack mods or something, but... Yeah, it doesn't work on Mob of the Dead either, so unfortunately I just can't do that. Which is a shame, of course, but Mob of the Dead on Black Ops 3 requires another mod to actually work. So that's probably why that one doesn't work. Got the MP443 Grack. Interesting name. Cool looking guns though, very, very cool. I don't know when Ghost is set, it's like near future, right? Oh, hello, zombie. Not a one-shot anymore, but it's fine. I mean, it is a pistol after all. Pop. One-shot headshot. we got, like, the little custom drops, of course. How could I forget? Now, this is, of course, gun game, if you haven't seen one of my weapon pack mods before. So, essentially, getting points of any kind will help us go to the next gun. Oh, got that little drive-by shot. The M9A1. This was actually my favorite... Um, oh, purple power-ups. Nice. This is my favorite pistol from the game. I just... I love pistols that have this little, like, uh, flashlight underneath. I think it looks really cool. I don't know why. Or it might not even be a flashlight, but just that little thing underneath just looks cool. Yeah, as you can see, weapons are disabled in this mode, so you can't buy weapons off the wall. Uh, we've got these special zombies, like the red ones. I think there's some kind of teleporting zombie, I forget. Maybe they're the green ones, actually. But we've got the PDW, which, funny enough, because in Black Ops 2 there was a PDW, it was um, an SMG, but it looked completely different. This one's called the PDW, but it's a pistol, full auto. And then in Advanced Warfare, they actually brought this pistol back. The exact same, even though the studios are completely different, which is interesting. Also, we got the Magnum now, hell yes. One of my favorite pistols of all COD Zombies history. Ghost Magnum is uh, pretty cool, actually. I like the reload. It's sort of like, um, you just sort of flick it off to the side. We haven't even bought a perk yet. I mean, we could totally pack a punch because, you know, it's right here. But at the same time, there's not too much point. So I guess we'll just go buy Jug real quick because... You know, it's the go-to perk, dude. Now, Town Remastered actually has a Wonder Fizz inside this room here. So, honestly, we could just go in there and spin that permanently. But it would be the easy way of doing things, of course. Pew, pew, pew. We've got a nuke. I mean, nukes actually are good because the 400 points count towards going to your next gun. But we got some kind of a shotgun, the MTS. Using shotguns, I don't know if you guys uh, played Ghosts back in the day. But what did you guys think about the infected mode? Because, honestly, I fucking loved it. That was, like, the best feature in the game for me. Using the shotguns and stuff, spawning in with different guns. Oh, the FP6. FP? Oh my god, it's me. What the fuck? Didn't know there was a gun called this. Let's get double tap because we want to go through the guns as quick as possible, I guess. This door is 2500. My god, dude. Pew. Oh, didn't even one shot him. Sad. God, the reload on these is a bit slow. Uh, we got, oh, a pack of punch drop. The Hyman Grinder? Dude, what kind of a name is that? Yeah, th this... This mod has some uh, very sussy Pack-A-Punch names, just like all the weapon pack mods. Which is why we don't go for um, Pack-A-Punch very often. The- oh. Wait, I don't even want to get the points. This is fucking sick. It's a minigun, dude. I completely forgot this was even in the game. Oh, this is cool. This is like one of the coolest looking miniguns in, in the whole of COD Zombies, honestly. Well, I'd say COD Zombies. I, I guess Call of Duty is a better way of saying it, because, you know, Extinction. Uh, Ghost didn't have zombies. Oh, this is so fucking cool, dude. Just absolutely mowing them down. And now we're onto the TAC-12, some kind of a pump action, I think. Fire's pretty quick. I like the- there's like no downtime between each shot, which I appreciate. So I don't mind pump shotguns, but it's usually just like in multiplayer especially. If you can't spam a shotgun, then it's just not too great. The Bulldog, though, oh yeah, this is the go-to in Extinction. I think this is like the one you'd normally spawn in with. Just, oh, the memories, dude. Carpenter, don't mind if I do. A random perk drop uh, didn't show me what it is. It must be some kind of, like, maybe it's Vigor Rush. Uh, no? Okay. Is it Tortoise perk? Oh, yeah, it is. It's the, oh, not Tortoise perk, Snail perk. We've got the Moors. An explosive, let's go. Last zombie, kaboom! I guess what we'll do is we'll go and buy this door. Let's get some more Wonder Fizz perks. I only afford one so far. What's this going to be? Quick revive. <laughs> hey, dude. I was going to go, like, this entire run without getting it, but... 
Okay, just gonna give me it like that, dude. You, I point blank missed that zombie. Good job, me. Yeah, it definitely is the snail perk, because look, it slows them down completely when they walk near you. Overpowered. I guess we'll train up the zombies a little bit. Every time I play town, I say this, but it still amazes me that they only had survival maps in Black Ops 2 for the first, like, in, like the spawn of the game, you know, when it released. They didn't have it for DLC 1, DLC 2, unless you're counting, like, turn and grief modes, but eh, not really, you know? We didn't have these tiny survival maps, like portions of other maps. I know it's because transit was huge or whatever, but in reality, there are maps that are pretty damn big, arguably as big as transit. And we never got survival maps for those, did we? So, K7 though. This, I think this is one of the first weapons in Call of Duty history to have a built-in attachment. Because it has a built-in silencer, which is quite cool, you know? It just meant that in multiplayer, you didn't have to put anything on the muzzle. The MTAR-X. This was probably my favorite gun in the entirety of Ghosts. The MTAR was in, you know, Black Ops 2, but it was an assault rifle. This is an SMG, and it is just a beast. Little to no recoil. It was an up-close monster in multiplayer. Honestly, if this wasn't gun game, I would totally keep this and just pack a punch it. I do plan on revisiting some of these maps with weapon pack mods and just like playing the non-gun game versions. But for these particular videos, I want to go through every single gun in the game, which is why I do gun game, because it's like just a great way of seeing every single gun, you know? And then we've got the Ripper, the first hybrid gun in all of uh, Call of Duty. Oh, wait, no, actually it was the Maverick, wasn't it? The Maverick was the first DLC gun in Ghosts. And it was like an assault rifle SMG or something? Well, no, it was, an, ass it was uh, an assault rifle and like a sniper. This one is the assault rifle SMG, which I don't know if we can... Can we change? Oh, you can if you press 4 on PC. See, it makes the little sight all big and everything. This is basically an assault rifle now. So, slower fire rate, but more accurate. And then you switch it back to an SMG and it's just much faster. Sort of mows them down. Very, very cool. The Vector, you know, pretty solid gun. MTAR X2, there's a second one. Oh yeah, this is the burst rifle version. That's cool. They actually have the one from the campaign. Because yeah, you could get a burst rifle version of the MTAR in campaign only. I'm sure there was probably an attachment to turn it into a burst in multiplayer, but still, that's really neat. Because there are some guns in COD campaigns that you just never really see in other game modes. And they can usually be really cool. Like, there are some in Black Ops 3 campaign that you just don't see. In the zombies, anyway. And I'm pretty sure in the multiplayer, maybe? I'm not sure. It's been a while since I've played BO3 multiplayer, because, you know, on uh, PC, it's kind of just a death trap if you're going to get hacked. We have 10,000 points. I don't know when that happened, but let's go and spin some uh, some more of these wonder fizzes of Vepa. This is an interesting gun. Is an SMG or an assault rifle? Why is bloody quick though? I mean, yeah, we have double tap, but still. So we should probably not go in. Ooh. The PP Bison, as you already know, if you've been watching my videos for a while, one of my favorite guns ever. The SA, don't remember this one. Oh, a perk drop. Don't mind if I do. I turned off the perk um, limit, so we can get as many as we want. But of course we get Mule Kick, the totally useless perk in this game mode. A Vigor Rush, not bad. I do like this perk a lot. Explosive damage is cool. It's just weird they don't have perk icons. Electric Cherry? Widow's Wine? Hell yes. This map will be linked in the description, by the way, as well as this weapon pack, because Town Remastered, this map in particular, is awesome. There are a couple on BO3 Steam Workshop, but this one is just by far the best. In terms of, like, aesthetically being very similar to the BO2 version, and the fact it has the Wonder Fizz, very nice. It feels like a Zombies Chronicles version of Town. The AK-12, though, classic. Also brought back in Advanced Warfare, which is strange, because, you know, Sledgehammer Games and Infin Infinity Ward, like, they're both different companies. They're just sharing guns, but, you know. The Maverick, yeah, this one is a sniper and an assault rifle? Yes, I can't switch it, though. Interesting. Maybe it just has the, uh, the two separate versions. It doesn't allow you to um, do it, but it did for the Ripper, though, you know? Speed Cola, hell yeah, that's actually really good. So now the reload is no longer uh, long as shit. Stamina, but don't mind if I do as well, you know? How's the hip fire? Decent, but it doesn't even one shot. What the fuck? We've got 1,300 points to get off this gun as well. Oh, they always make the snipers a little bit harder to get away from. Oh yeah, and for the Ultimate Zombies Tournament Season 3, I am actually into uh, the next round. I got, I think, 7th place out of, what was it, 16 in round 2? Which I'm pretty happy with, all things considered, because we got round 23 on Shangri-La, and that challenge was really difficult. The first place ended up getting Jug from the Monkeys, so, you know, it makes sense why they got first place, but it was my ex-teammate, which is awesome. The Honey Badger, again, one of my favorite guns of all time. Like, 
Whether you hate on ghosts or not, like, you gotta admit, some of the guns were fucking awesome. Like, the Honey Badger, built-in silencer assault rifle, with little to no recoil as well, just so cool. All right, how many more perks do we need? Probably, like, two or three? Headshot? Oh, can't forget you. The absolute masterpiece of a perk. What's this one gonna be? PhD! Oh, it's actually on this map. That's cool. And that looks like it. We can't get any more. Interesting. Oh yeah, here we go. Now we've got the regular Maverick as my PhD is just exploding all over the floor. But yeah, this is the assault rifle version of this gun, which I pretty much always used when I played Ghost back in the day. Do you guys remember that game mode? What was it? Like the Michael Myers Ghosts map or whatever? You could like get Michael Myers from a care package. It was so cool. I don't know why no COD has done something similar since. I mean, like, sure, you've got the weapon bundles or, like, the operator skins and shit in the newer CODs, but, eh, you know, it's nowhere near as cool, right? So the EBR, I think, was, uh, I think Ghost might have been the very first COD to introduce marksman rifles as their own separate, like, weapon category, which is interesting, because now they're just, like, a staple in every single one. Oh, and of course we need 10 points to go on for the next bloody gun. 10 points to- Oh, and the god tier thing is, PhD in this map, you can just stand in the fire, no biggie. Like, <laughs> yeah, it's so good. Exactly what I wished PhD would do in uh, other maps. I mean, not like it's in any of the map that has fire, you know? I'm just surprised it wasn't in BO2, to be honest, other than, I guess, if you count Origins in the Wonder Fizz, but then it's like, well, you've got all these other cool things, like the staffs, where it just overshadow the PhD, so it just didn't matter. The Lynx Sniper? Cool name. Got a really beefy sounding shot as well. That echo is fucking mad. The, uh, the Chesty? <laughs> okay, interesting name. Oh, okay, you can really spam this shit as well. Decent hip fire. Around the SC-2010. I remember this gun. This is like the lowest recoil gun in all of multiplayer for assault rifles. Very solid. It was easy to get, um, what was it called? There was like a kill streak you could get. It wasn't a DNA bomb. That's advanced warfare. It was like a nuke, but it was called something different in Ghost, I think. In Black Ops 2, it was called nuclear, right? But you didn't actually get a bomb or anything. Someone will probably tell me down in the comment section because some of you probably know. It's been a solid 10 years since I last played Ghost, you know, so, uh, my memory's a little bit off. The ARX? Oh yeah, this gun was also in Advanced Warfare, I think. But I'm pretty sure it was a burst rifle, if I remember correctly. Very interesting. The MSBS. Oh, another burst gun. The APS Underwater Rifle. Very intriguing name. That must have been from the campaign, like an underwater mission, maybe. The SVU. This was also in Advanced Warfare, but it was the SVUAS, I think. Oh no, it was the SVU in Advanced Warfare. It was the SVUAS in BO2. Ah, so, yeah, you just get those guns that are just in, like, back-to-back-to-back -to -back -to -back Call of Duty games for some reason. Which, you know, it's quite a cool feature. Round 16, though, dude. Nice. This fucking sight is massive, though. Holy shit. Look at how big that sight is. You know, for the sake of, like, just opening them, I'm just gonna open this door. There's, like, no reason to. We can't buy... Oh, wait, you can buy Galva Knuckles. But there's... What's the point? Because you can't melee. <laughs> oh, well, that's cool, isn't it? And I guess we'll open up this door as well. Just so we're opening all the doors on the map, you know? Uh, you can't throw grenades, so I literally can't get in that door. Oh my god, hello zombies. Jesus, where did you all come from? A sniper with a built-in silencer as well. The VKS. This is cool, they had so many guns with built-in, like, silencers. I don't know why. They wanted to go into, like, the stealthy aspect of the game, I suppose, in Ghosts. Oh, and I just remembered, Eminem did the goddamn, like, teaser trailer music or whatever. What was it called? Survival? It was such a good song. I listened to that all the time back in the day. I got another marksman rifle, the IA-2. I only got 10 guns left. It'd be really cool if they put the Venom X in this weapon pack, but I don't think they're going to do it because in other ones, they didn't put the Wonder Weapons, which is kind of sad because, you know, it would be cool. I want, like, a Wonder Weapon pack mod where you could just use basically every Wonder Weapon that's ever existed. I'm surprised nobody's made that yet because it would be so fun to do, you know? Kill all of you, spam the shit out of this. MR-28, I remember this one. See, marksman rifles are cool, but I don't like the sniper scopes on them. Like, if you could just get rid of the scope, then it would probably be a bit better. I mean, maybe you could in multiplayer. I just, I never really used them ever. I didn't go for diamond camo in that game. The Remington R5. I do remember this assault rifle, though. The diamond pickaxe. Okay, Minecraft reference. We've got another perk. Probably going to give us nothing. Oh, we gave us tombstone? What the fuck, dude? We can't even use it in solo, bro. L115. This sniper was actually one of the best snipers in, like, any COD. I really quite liked it. Like, the sniping in Ghost wasn't bad at all. That's the thing. I feel like Ghost definitely got a lot 
of hate. A lot of unnecessary hate. It was probably because it was following Black Ops 2, and it's also, like, it wasn't called Modern Warfare 4, you know, it was the next game after Modern Warfare 3. Probably just, like, false expectations or something. And by today's standards, I would prefer Ghosts to everything that's released since, like, Cold War. Genuinely. Even with Extinction, I, I mean, Extinction would be a breath of fresh air. Imagine if Extinction released with Vanguard instead of Zombies. Like, it would have been so much better because, yeah, it's not Zombies, so we're not just overdoing it for the sake of it. And it's just a fun little game mode. The USR, another amazing sniper. People would always, like, go between the USR and the L11. A or whatever it was called, 8A. I think I kind of preferred this one because it had more ammo in each magazine. So, you know, naturally you can just snipe more without having to reload with the fucking teleporting zombies, dude. Oh my God. Ah, I got demoted, bro. Back to the USR, I guess. <laughs> That's the thing. If you uh, get red screen and then basically die in quotation marks, you end up losing your uh, current gun. It takes you back down one. Let's give it a packet punch. Oh, it gave us another one. What the fuck? <laughs> The Riveting, cool name. Got a nice scope. Now we have two USRs. Interesting. I mean, it's my fault for getting myself stuck in that fucking corner. Let's just try and train out here, I suppose. Decent scope. Hello, Death Machine. Gonna get rid of you. Death Machine is technically cheating, so, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll stick by the rules. We've only got six guns left. Hello, zombie creeping up on me. Max ammo. I mean, we get unlimited ammo in this as well, so double point is actually a really good drop as I just fucking... A dude snuck up behind me, didn't they? Typical. But double points is really good because, you know, it's point-based for you going on to the next gun, of course. I'm actually going to get this nuke because we have double points. So if it gives us the 800, please, before the double points runs out. It didn't even do it, bro. And it ended the round. That wasn't worth it. I should have just shot into them. At least we're off. We're off that gun now. I got the fad. This looks like some kind of FAMAS variant, I guess. The Luscious Lady Boy. <laughs> God tier names, dude. Red dot sight. Well, this should be able to uh, get us through to the next gun, at least. Snipers are just very risky. I think we've done all the snipers now, thank God. Hey, the LSAT. Yeah, see, they brought the LSAT back from BO2. It's not quite as cool, especially since it doesn't have the little, like, blue um, things on the gun. But it's still a beast. Like, just, oh, God. Almost immediately off the gun. And now we're on the chainsaw. Oh, I forgot all about you. See, I say the minigun was cool as fuck, but this, this is badass. An LMG called a chainsaw and you hold it with like a handle at the top. It's just, it's so cool, dude. Pew, 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 pew. Oh, and immediately off it. And now we're on the Ameli. Again, another very good gun. This one might have been in Advanced Warfare too, you know? The M27 IAR. Yeah, they brought the M27 back, but as an LMG. Interesting. Certainly very cool gun. We've only got one gun left. Wait, does that mean we're going to be finished after this one? Whoa, look at the fog in the distance. Dude, it makes the church look so cool. Like, this is how the fog should have looked in Transit BO2, but you could just see all, like, the lines in the sky that just made it look horrible. I guess we're going to find out, though. Just a few more kills. Oh, and we just won the game. RNG Gamer won the game. Let's go, dude. So I hope you guys have enjoyed. If you have, please leave a like, subscribe if you're new. Check out this video on screen. YouTube says you might like it. And yeah, I will see you in the next video.